So the New England Patriots just played their first game of the year against the Carolina Panthers, and I think there was a lot of excitement to see what Drake May could do on the field in an actual in-game situation. But the game started, and Drake May only threw the ball three times the entire time. But the game started, and Drake May only threw the ball three times the entire time, much to the dismay of the fan base and many critics. Here's what some of the media had to say. Drake May made his Patriots debut tonight as promised. He came in for the second series. And I think we all said, oh, good. Oh, <laughs> we get to watch something tonight. We get to, uh, you know, analyze, pick apart, get your popcorn, sit down, strap yourself in. He came in for the second series of the game, and we thought, okay, almost a two solid quarters of Drake May, and we get to see what we're looking at. And nope, third series, Bailey Zappi, and that was that. So all we have is... I don't know how many total snaps he took, six or seven, three passes, mostly swing passes, and then he was out. First of all, what did you make of the delineation of snaps? A huge missed opportunity, and I had a, a former coach text me and said, what, what are they doing? This is a missed opportunity. This is the kind of thing that you want to be able to get a massive amount of tape on and spend the entire day, entire weekend. One thing I really like that they said is how the preseason is the perfect opportunity for young QBs to make mistakes and then go over it with the coaches the following week in practice. But you can't really do that when you were only on the field for six or seven snaps. But I'm going to go over the few throws he did make. And also, I'm going to break down some of what Bailey Zappi did because he was the guy that played the majority of this game. But before I begin, I would really appreciate it if you would drop a like and subscribe. It only takes five seconds plus you can always change your mind we are now on the road to 40k subscribers and with your support i believe we can get there super fast all right so let's get into the place drake may was on the field for this was just a simple little screen on third down but the defense wasn't ready for it and the pats were able to get the first down the next play also on third down was just a simple little swing pass to the running back this is what the media had to say about may why don't you just have him do that I, at least a half dozen to a dozen times because he's never done it. Why wouldn't you want to see it? What are you afraid of? Well, it's perplexing to me. You, you understand it with Jacoby Brissett and going into the game. That's what I said. Brissett has gotten, I think, great separation really since the start of camp. They were closer at the start of camp than they are now. And that's to be expected because jo Jacoby Brissett understands where all the, the Pratt Falls are and the things to stay away from. He's composed. We saw it, his composure, I think, even in his brief time there the number of reads that he went through, one, two, three, on his downfield incompletion. But the gap has widened between Jacoby Brissett and his pseudo-competition Drake May. So this is an opportunity for Drake May to narrow that gap. And I'm not saying he's going to be contending for the opening day starter, but you have an opportunity to get a litany of opportunities. Say opportunity again, why don't you? A litany of plays out there to watch him execute, and he just didn't get it. So let's talk a little bit of Drake May here. First preseason action. Just the three pass attempts in one drive. What do you think the Patriots' plan is in terms of bringing him along? Well, I think if you're Gerard Mayo, you know, and, and, and May said it, he said politically the correct statement, oh, I get reps in practice. That's not in the stadium with the popcorn and the people and the lights on. It's different. And playing against a different opponent, I think this week, you got to give him a number of plays. In other words, you might say, you know what, this week regardless, you're going to get at least 30 to 40 snaps. Now moving on to Bailey Zappi, he got booed as he entered the field for May. He said, yeah, it's a little opposite of what it's been the last two years. For the most part, Zappi played well though. He completed 12 of his 20 pass attempts for 108 yards. He didn't have any touchdowns, but he did throw a 28 yarder to Kashan Butte to set up a two yard Kevin Harris touchdown run. Zappi took on the bulk of the passing workload Thursday night with May and Brissett playing just one series each. Joe Milton threw just six passes, completing four, including a 38-yard touchdown to Jackson. It's nice to have all four of us quarterbacks rooting for each other, Zappi said. So as we come off to the side, everybody has an iPad and is talking about, maybe we should do this next time. Maybe we should attack this guy or do this route. It's just little stuff like that that can translate when you get out there on the field, just like Joe's touchdown on the double move. Zappi added, we were setting that up all game and I was like, man, I threw those out routes for you. You're welcome for the double move there. But that was a pretty great play by him, great catch, and great touchdown for the offense. It was pretty cool. 
Zappi, who started 8 games after taking over for Jones last year, has seen his practice reps drop significantly during training camp, but he threw 3 times as many passes as any other Patriots quarterback on Thursday night. And it wouldn't be Jacoby Brissett's first start in a Patriots uniform, but after being drafted in 2016, traded away in 2017, and brought back in March, it would be a start for the NFL veteran of 48. It would be the start for the NFL veteran, and it ended after a single series against Carolina. New England's top quarterback entering training camp finished with a trio of incompletions in the rain. He then hit the sideline as the number three overall pick hit the field. Drake May debuted with 11-11 to play in the first quarter. The 21-year-old North Carolina product kept the chains moving on a third and 12 screen soon after. He went two of three through the air for 19 yards. He went two of three through the air for 19 yards. I knew he was going to be in after, and when I was going in, I didn't know how long it was going to be. Zappi said. If it was the entire game, I'm happy with that. I want to play, but that's up to offensive coordinator Alex Van Pelt and Jared Mayo. Anyways, moving on, now let's talk about training camp and what players have been standouts early on. So starting with Jacoby Brissett, he has been someone that's consistently been performing well in practice. On day 5 of training camp, he was nearly flawless, completing 7 of 8 passes in 11 on 11 drills. His ability to connect with multiple receivers, including rookies Jalen Polk and Javon Baker, as well as veterans like Hunter Henry and Taquan Thornton has been impressive. It looks like he came on. And then rookie receiver Jalen Polk has been another standout. He's been a reliable target in the red zone and has made some highlight reel catches during competitive drills. Polk's performance is a big deal for an offense that desperately needs a go-to receiver. On the offensive line, Mike Nwenu has been dominating in one-on-one -on -one blocking drills. His performance is crucial as the Patriots look to establish a more effective running game under new offensive coordinator AVP. The Patriots have really been focusing heavily on their new look running game. The zone blocking scheme and stretch outside runs are becoming staples of the offense. While the passing game has had its moments, the run game has definitely been the primary focus. And the defense has definitely been a strong point throughout camp. Even though the offense has shown progress, the defense has often had the upper hand. Players like Christian Gonzalez have been standout performers, making it tough for the offense to get into a rhythm. The Patriots will continue their preseason with the game against the Philadelphia Eagles on August 15th. As training camp progresses, it will be interesting to see how competition at various positions shakes out, especially at quarterback and wide receiver. Here is more of what the media has to say about this team as we start to approach the season. What are we to make of the performance from the sixth round rookie last night, which is the talk of the game? Before all of that, it was kind of a snooze fest, if we're being totally honest, in this preseason game. It was rainy. It, you know, there was seven points scored. It, it really wasn't much to talk about, really. But That's really all I have to say for this video. Thank you all so much if you made it to this point. And if you enjoyed it haven't yet, please be sure to drop a like and subscribe, because your support truly does mean the world. And also, let me know what you would like to see next and how you are feeling about this Patriots team as we start to approach the upcoming season. And until next time... I will see you all later.